But I like the idea of just a bleak win. They could taunt here. But, I mean, I'll take breaking my own Focus Sash, I suppose. The Focus Sash doesn't really combo well with Tyranitar. I might have to change that. They do Terra. This is going to give him an attack boost. Which, now that I think about it, I don't have an Intimidator. So, they do Tailwind. So, hopefully, they don't attack into Torn. Because I need to get a Tailwind up. Okay, yep. A plus one Ivy Cudgel. Oh my god. Okay. Here we go. We're already starting with the shenanigans. We stagger our tailwind by a turn. That's the good news. The bad news is I just got my ass beat. So. Bleak wind comes out. I'd assume he just attacks the Tyranitar. No, this looks like he's going into Torn. Oh, we can get a big hit. He gets two crits. That crit didn't matter, but like two crits. If Rockside hits here, we'll pick up a double KO. I hate it here. Yo, what's going on today, peeps? As you can see, we're back here with another intro. I know I don't normally do the intros these days, but I do want to make clear that uh, the next few videos I'm going to do, I'm going to try to... My plan is to team build around Tyranitar because he's my favorite Pokemon. And I want to see if I can build a really good team around him. And then maybe potentially next reset for ranked. Um, push for a high rank with Tyranitar. Um, that's kind of the goal. Um, so these next few videos, you'll probably see a lot of Tyranitar as I try to mix and match uh, teams around him. So this video, obviously, will have him. Um, and as you can tell from the title and thumbnail, we got Heatran. He turns Loki kind of a monster. Um, you'll see in the in the video. Uh, he he puts in some work. So hopefully you guys enjoy. As always, timestamps are in the description. Uh, and the Poke Paste will always be down there, so you can see the spreads and everything and the items. And hopefully you guys enjoy. <clears throat> All right, as usual, here we are, and here is our team. Now, I think the next few videos, I'm going to take some time and build teams around Tyranitar uh, and make adjustments and stuff because Tyranitar is my favorite Pokemon and I want to try to see if I can build the best possible Tyranitar team. Um, this one actually does not have Excadrill or Lycanroc. Um, speaking of Tyranitar and Excadrill, that's kind of funny. So, here we go. Um, this is actually a weakness policy Tyranitar set, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, I want to try to build teams around the Tyranitar, like, or the Tyranitar, uh, the Pokemon. I don't know why I said it that way. Um, so my question is, I do believe max speed Excadrill under Tailwind still outspeeds a lot of Pokemon I have on my team. Um... I do like he Heatran looks really good here, but I need to position it well around the Tyranitar Excadrill. I think a safe lead would be. I don't know if I even need. Ah, uh, is it a safe lead to lead this into King Gambit though? If they lead King Gambit and like a or something, I don't really have anything. Let's go with this. Ah, uh, but having torn. To manually change weather too. Now I like Heatran here, and then it's between Rillaboom and Flutter, but I think Flutter is more consistent against the Moongus. But I respect that. I mean, the Sand Team. It's a courageous pick. But Ogre Pond looks really good here. Uh, the only thing to worry about is like what kind of surprise Terras they can have. Um, I know the. The team that I used a while ago, Tyranitar and Excadrill that I made, had a Terra Water Excadrill, I believe. Um, so you're still weak to Ogre Pond, but not so King Gambit. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd lead King Gambit. So a Tyranitar Excadrill on the back is very plausible, but let's see. I actually half expect King Gambit to Sword Stance here. 
So how do I stop that? I think I use my own Swords Dance and switch out Torn into Heatran. If I eat up an Ivy Cudgel into Torn, I'm going to be Sag. But I could have followed me. Honestly, a follow me would have protected the Heatran. Oh, oh, we're chilling. We are being chilling. Okay. <laughs> um, I like the idea of a follow me into a heat wave. Um. Do I need the Terra? If I'm using follow me, I don't need Terra. So, I don't know why I even thought about that. And Heatran should outspeed. I don't know. I am. I'm just max HP, max attack Heatran. So, let's see. They do Terra. A Terra Dragon would be Sag. They have 77 speed, so I do outspeed the Gam Gam. He's Terra Dark. Um. So, Sucker Punches are definitely on the table here. But they can't Sucker Punch into a Follow Me. So. Yeah, see, I mean, that's just too easy. And it's not AV Gambit. Oh, yeah. That's good damage. That's good damage right there. Um, do you think they follow me again? Do you think they follow me? I don't think they follow me. I'm going to make the read they don't follow me. This could lose me the game. Ah, but do I have to follow? I have to follow me to protect the su sucker punch. But do they sucker punch again? You know what? I'm going to make this read. They don't sucker punch and they don't follow me. I think they switch out. King Gambit protects. Okay. Mm. Must be an Ivy Cudgel into the... Damn, good read. It doesn't KO, though. We're chilling. Oh, do I die to Heat Life Orb Recoil, though? I think I do. We do get the KO, though. So, at least we trade. He trend does go down. So, it's a... It's a fairly equal trade to start these turns. Now, this is where the fun begins. Heatran actually is missing is like not good though. And we are a bulky flutter main. The issue is, yeah, there's a Tyranitar Excadrill on the back. The issue is, it's a plus two Gambit. If Gambit didn't get the Swords Dance off, I would say we're chilling. But, um,. But Gambit did just protect, so I think the Gambit switches into Excadrill. So I think what we do here is we just double into the Tyranitar. Do we Terra Fairy here? Yeah, I think Terra Fairy seems safe. Once again, the Follow Me is a safe play, but I'm making the hard read. That the Gambit is going to switch out due to the fact that he just protected. Because if, it, if I go for a follow me and he goes for a sucker punch then, then he just basically loses both Pokemon. And if Tyranitar knocks off... So theoretically, if he goes for sucker punch and I follow me... um, Well, actually, let's see how this turn plays out before I try to theorize something here. So let's see. Tyranitar protects. He does sucker punch, okay. How much does this do, man? Oh, my KOs. Oh, man. Huh, if I just protect, bro. That loses me the game. See, but you... It's a pain. 
Who do I have in the back? I don't even think I can win this now. Do I have Torn so I can change the weather? See, the issue is I, I don't have a way to stop another... I don't want a sunny day. Yeah, I think I just lose. We miss somebody. We miss King Gambler. Love that. Part. Rock slide. No power. Huh? just I don't understand the thought process behind leaving King Gambit in on that turn with Flutterman it, it just doesn't make any sense to me like you just protected you you either have to go for a double protect I, maybe I should have just played it safe I wonder I, I guess I went too aggressive I don't know Cause I don't, I don't know why you would keep spamming Sucker Punch. Like the Sucker Punch mind games are just crazy to me. Um, I mean Heatran doesn't look bad here, but like Heatran also doesn't look great. I mean it's, it's good into Breloom, good into Chimpao. Tyranitar is good into a good bit of their team. This could be a Tyranitar game, especially to break a Chimpao Focus Ash. Um. And weakness policy. What are we, Terra Flying? Terra Flying could actually be really big here. If I can conserve my Terra for Tyranitar. Um, so if we go Torn Flutter. They don't have a fake out user. And then we bring Tyranitar. Probably Heatran in the back. A lot of their teams weak to flutter. Oh, dude, I'm still gonna think about that game one. Like, I don't, I don't think I misplayed that. I'm not mad at the way I played it. I'm kind of mad at the way they played it. I guess. So they go torn ogre pond. This is going to break my own focus, Ash. But I like the idea of just a bleak win. They could taunt here. But, I mean, I'll take breaking my own focus, Ash, I suppose. The focus, Ash, doesn't really combo well with Tyranitar. I might have to change that. They do Terra. This is going to give him an attack boost. Which, now that I think about it, I don't have an Intimidator. They do tell one. So hopefully they don't attack into Torn. Because I need to get a tailwind up. Okay, yep. A plus one Ivy Cudgel. Oh my god. Okay. Here we go. We're already starting with the shenanigans. I got crit. Dude, that is actually so sad. We stagger our tailwind by a turn. That's the good news. The bad news is I just got my ass beat. So. Bleak wind comes out. 
I'd assume he just attacks the Tyranitar. No, this looks like he's going into Torn. Oh, we can get a big hit. He gets two crits. That crit didn't matter, but like two crits. If Rock Slide hits here, we'll pick up a double KO. I hate it here. Okay. All right, well, let's see how this goes. Um, who do they have? Who do they have? Who do they have? Breloom, Chen Pao. Dun 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 dun. I actually don't mind Heatran here. I like Flutter as a late game closer, I think. And Heatran doesn't take any Sandstorm chip like Flutter will. Breloom comes out. Breloom is just gonna mock punch. So I like the idea of the Terra Grass to avoid a Spore and a Mock Punch and then Protect. Um, hopefully with some luck we'll get a double KO. Um, we'll see how this goes. But now that we took the Ogre Pond, at least the Rock Slide took out the Ogre Pond. That's the big news. Breloom protects, but if Breloom is sashed, then Breloom is not going to live the next one. Oh, but we are going to eat a Bleak Wind. Can I get a miss, please? I've been crit twice. God, I hate it here. Andy, a speed drop, dude. I'm done with adversity out here, dog. I don't think I'm beating the allegations. Why can't I get something to go my way? Is this Chimpal? This is Dragonite. Do they have their Terra? No, he doesn't have his Terra. They're probably just going to Mach Punch Extreme Speed. I don't think I can do anything about it. Mach Punch to Tyranitar Extreme Speed Heatran. I think I just lose, man. But if you Extreme Speed and you're Bandit and you lock yourself into Extreme Speed, I have Flutter in the back. Specs Flutter should just pick up a double KO. He spores. Why do you spore? That one doesn't make any sense to me. You must not be, uh... And if that's multi-scale, it breaks multi-scale. Tyranitar is actually so useful. Without no lie. Um... I would assume the Breloom would protect here. The Dragonite is a mystery to me. So, I think it's fine to just lock into Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam, if that's multi-skill and we break it... Yeah, mo now he mock punches. That He should have mock punched last turn. Let's see if this was Extreme Speed Dragonite. Okay, so Dragonite is switching moves here. But we are bulky Flutter. That must be AV Dragonite. Yeah, see... Yeah, see, we win. Dude, oh my god. That was... I went against everything and won that game. Dude, that Tyranicar crit made me sad. I was like, there's no way a resisted Ivy Cudgel, even at plus one, should be doing that much. Oh, it's a shame. Damn it, I was trying to change my music to random. I wanted to do a random tune. So, I think I'm already thinking about some changes for this team. Torn and Tyranitar don't syn synergize well with the Focus Sash. I need to not bring them at the same time. But, the good news is, I don't really think I'm fond of Tyranitar in this matchup. So, but they do have priority. Priority is a problem. We do have Manual Taunt on Rillaboom. 
But I don't think Manual Taunt really plays here. Um, so, let's see. I actually think I like Torn, Flutter, Heatran, and Ogre Pond here, but in what order? Torn Flutter again? Torn Flutter with these two in the back? The good news is Heatran nullifies Incineroar. And Incineroar literally only has to switch out. Well, I mean, unless you have knockoff, but knockoff still isn't doing that much to Heatran. So, let's see. Let's see what we got here. I'm expecting like a, an incense. Yeah, I was gonna say incense. Something else. Terror Ghost Terror Blast from Dragapult is a problem. And I can't protect. And he knows I'm not. If I could protect, I'd feel way safer with Flutter. But. I would assume Dragon Darts. Each turn's about to eat up a double Dragon Darts. Or a Phantom. Could even be a Phantom Force. It is Phantom Force. Okay. So I wonder how much Phantom Force is going to do. I actually don't mind an Earth Power into Ensign. Or should I Flash Cannon the Dragapult slot? Do I need to get Dragapult damage? What do we have in the back? Ogre Pond. Yeah, I think I need to get some damage into Dragapult. I don't think I'm too, too worried about Ensign. Wait, do I outspeed Dragapult under Tailwind? Okay. Whew. Oh my god, that did absurd damage. Okay, well, we trade back with a big hit. Knock off. Heatran does go down. Okay, well, just when I thought I had a... Uh... I think we go Ogre Pond here. We outspeed with all of our Pokemon, so... I think uh, Ensign switches out here. So I think we can actually risk a... Uh, Swords Dance, right? Er... What do they have in the back? They have their own Ogre Pond, right? But they can't switch in their own Ogre Pond with a Bleak, in, a bleak Wind. Chen Pal's the only thing I'd reasonably see switching in. I do like the idea of Bleak Wind. I think a Swords Dance is actually pretty fine. Dragapult switches out. This has got to be Chen Pao, right? Rillaboom. Then Incineroar must be using Parting Shot. No, he does switch out the Incin. Okay, and uh, Ogre Pond? Yeah. So he's just switching in these two into a Bleak Wind. Oh, my miss! Ugh. Ogre Pond's a more important one to hit anyways, but good lord. So we double protect here. Dude, the opportunities you get with... I might actually... Hmm. Dude, Ogre Pond suffers so much from four move syndrome. You literally just have so many moves you want to run on Ogre Pond. Like, Ivy Cudgel is so good, but then you face against another Ogre Pond. And you're like, okay, cool. Guess I'll fuck myself. So they spike your shield. Why did they spike your shield? So I think they switch in, uh, they probably U-turn. Alright, can I please hit Bleak Wind? Who's faster here? I need to look. 
So I need to know if Torn's move is going to go first or 79, 149. So Torn's going to go first. So Bleak Wind. And then I think we Ivy Cudgel the Pokemon switches out. Ah, imagine we read that. Rillaboom's going to U-turn here, I feel like. But we are bulky Ogrepan, so... It's good damage into Rillaboom. Like, all of his Pokemon are so weak. Ah, that almost KOs, man. U-turn comes out. That does way more than I wanted it to. Dragapult comes back in, right? But Dragapult can't protect. It's got to be Ogre Pond. Okay. Tell him Peter's out. The existence that I protect. So does water absorb work like storm drain, or is it just when I target the ogre one? So I like the idea of protect and then attacking and sin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. So Rillaboom goes down here. I imagine I bleak win there. When he turns out, let's go. Okay, so they are faster. The issue is they're not respecting Tornadus. Tornadus is the one doing most of the damage. So I think this next turn we double protect. Hmm, what do we know? Actually, I like the idea of a bleak wind. Bleak wind into a follow me. Nah. Spiky shield. We're getting a dragon darts here. Oh no, we shouldn't have spiky shielded because now both dragon darts are gonna go into the uh torn. He's going to Terra here. Actually. He's not going to Dragon Darts because I have Flutter in the back. Yep, he's going Terra Ghost Terra Blast. Okay. That's actually really good for me because that's going to leave me at Sash. Follow me. Mm-hmm. If he attacks into Ogre Palm, we're chilling. But he doesn't. So. I need Bleak when to hit Ogre Pond for the love of God, please. Let's go. Alright, I should have just won this again. Alright, that was a crazy game with some crazy pivoting. On their end. I mean, I just sat in the whole time, but... <laughs> So I think what we do this next turn is we just protect the uh, tornado switch into Flutter. The plus, I mean, Ogre Pond's down to minus one now, I think. Actually. Yeah, I think that, because we need Ogre Pond's attack reset. Alright. And then I think this next turn we can Sunny Day. 
Ah, Sunny Day gives him an attack boost, though. Take out. Doesn't affect me. Okay. Single target Bleak Wind into a Moonblast should win me the game. Yeah, they just cancel. Alright, sweet. So we win that one. That one was a little bit of a struggle because they were trying to play around the Ogre Pond. They probably assumed I had Horn Leash, too. So it helps that we did not. Um... All right, let's hit another one. So we won two, we've lost one. So I think we can keep this running for one more at least. Um, it's weird because I don't know my speed tiers with this team because I'm not used to using a bulky ogre pine. <clears throat> we got the Pelipper Rain. Pelipper Rain, Pelipper Rain. So Tyranitar looks good. Torn looks really good. Just for Sunny Day. The only issue is when you set up Sunny Day, you get Flutter the Flutter on their team of Protosynthesis boost. Um, actually, Tyranitar doesn't look that great here, in my opinion. Um, Ogre Pond looks good here. The Flutter, Torn, 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 Torn. I'm down for Flutter. They don't have any Fake Out pressure. Uh, the only Tailwind comes from Pelipper. So, I like the idea of just Torn and Flutter. I feel like I'd be stupid not to bring these two. I think we leave Heatran behind. No, 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 no. So hopefully this game goes well too. I'd like to end the day three and one. We always like that. Um, I don't know where a Bax Caliber lead would be kind of scary. Cause that's kind of risky. They just straight up lead a. Do I need a Tailwind here? I think I need a Tailwind. I'm debating between locking in Moonblast and Dazzling Gleam. The only reason I want to do Moonblast is to ensure a KO on the Urshifu. But I think Dazzling Gleam is the safe play. Okay. So whatever's coming in is eating a f dazzling gleam. It's got to be Arch Aladon, yeah. So, and then this next turn, we can... A Pelipper Hurricane would be kind of sad here. Having Ogre Pond in the back makes things really, really way better. But we have to get rid of this Pelipper. So next turn, I like the idea of just using Sunny Day. We might actually just KO the Pelipper here before it gets a move off. If we can stop them from getting a Tailwind up, which would be good. Um, I expected them to go Terra on Urshifu, to be honest. Ah, oh, it's Sashed. So they're probably going for their own Tailwind, then? I think that's okay. Um, I like the idea of doing this, because I don't see them using a Hurricane into Flutter. So we switch into Rilla. It keeps them from getting their Electro shot off and weakens all their moves. Helper uses Y-Guard. Massive, massive play for me. I'll take that any day. Electro shot. Is this power herb? I wouldn't think it'd be power herb considering you have Pelipper on the team. Okay. Special attack. Okay. Let's go with this into a fake out. 
fake out the arch aladon after it uses a after it uses that attack is so funny to me <laughs> if this is urshifu this should do damage if i actually connect okay it's back to Calibre. give it a stamina boost but i'm not too, too worried about it and we miss a bleak wind again that's Calibre. Oh my god, that is negative damage to Archaladon. Archaladon's getting bulked up. So. Um. I think we're in a weird spot because Archaladon is still at plus one. I like that even protect here. Most people probably expect AV on Rillaboom. Dude, we miss again. Okay, we miss our child. That's fine. We're getting chip damage into everybody here. Icicle Crash actually goes into the Torn. Interesting. If they doubled into Torn here, this is a really good play for them. Body press. Okay. Okay, okay. What do we do here? The Max Caliber could have Ice Shard. So I like the idea of setting up another Tailwind. Who do we switch into, though? Switch back into Flutter. You'll get a proto synthesis boost. I don't know if this is a good idea, because if they Icicle Crash, I might just lose Flutter here. Let's see what they do. Ice Shard. Okay, that's big. So now I can come back in with Fake Out Pressure. Okay. Heavy Sum. What a read! Oh, I just got outplayed so hard. I was expecting the body press. That's a good play. They cover for the switch in. I think that's my only answer to Arch Aladon too. I think I just get swept now. Ah. Ah. Unless I get a, cr I guess a. Well, I mean, I can't really get a crew with Ogre Pond. Trying to think. I don't think there's a way I can win this. I'm going to fake out. We'd have to fake out the... Back to Calibre, though. Yeah, I guess it's the disadvantage of bringing two grass types. Maybe Heatran was better here than it more... More better off here than I thought. Oh my god. That's so funny. Yeah, there's no way I can win this now. Surprisingly, body press doesn't do as much as I thought it would. I don't know why. Okay, well. I think I just surrender here. I don't think there's anything I can do. That's a shame. If I read the, if I switch in a turn earlier, I get Flutter in for free. No damage. Oh. But he read into the, the Flutter switch. Good play by him.